Situ, how did they finally do it? Because it's taking a long time. Yeah. Listen, this game was funny because it could, you didn't just see a winner in this game. It was a game of, I think, but yeah, both standards, that game, this game was very poor. They didn't create enough chances by both sides, but Arsenal needed to show that they could stop City first. And you've seen Mikel at other times when he's gone up against Man City, he's tried to overplay, tried to be a little bit too expansive. Yeah. But I think Arsenal focused a lot more on what they could do off the ball. And when they had it, they were very confident in trying to hold on to read the ball. And City as well struggled because they were very, very narrow. City didn't have any width or whatsoever in the game. And that helped Arsenal because when you've got Zinchenko and you've got Ben White, who can, who can advance in those areas, then they can progress the ball. But ultimately, it was a game that fell on very few margins. And we saw Erling Haaland had no services at all. Even Arsenal didn't create chances of their own. Mm -hmm. But when that moment came and then Martinelli got a bit lucky with that ricochet off, you know, Nitanaki, Arsenal would take it. But the point then is, Arsenal have now shown that they've got the character to, to go into games like this. And to be fair, these two teams didn't need to be unnecessarily expansive. Yeah. The season is still, is still very young. Nobody really had to go for it and win it. Unlike last season when, when City played Arsenal, City absolutely needed to win to catch up with Arsenal. Yeah. This time, this season is still very young. Three points ahead of uh, um, either side is not a terrible time. So I think both managers at some point were playing for the draw. Then the Martinelli happened. But that again shows that Arsenal, this season, have got some quality on the bench. Unlike last season, without Saka and without Martinelli starting, I'm not sure anybody starts the game to give them the quality they still had. Yeah. And maybe even if Bukayo Saka and Martinelli started, I'm not sure you call some party from the bench. Kai Havertz and Martinelli to come into the game and change things. So Arsenal have come some way, and this is where they've got they've got a victory against uh, Pep Guardiola City. Uh, yeah. And listen, the match was not without controversy. Uh, first instance, perhaps many people think that Kovacic should have been sent off, and Arsenal probably would have had it a bit easier. Uh, but yet again, Martinelli wasn't even that's the the, Kov <laughs> the Kovacic Terrible. incident. Was it red? Streets. The first one. Yeah, was the streets. Right? The second one. Uh, the Declan Rice one was supposed to be a street. Uh, I think this should have if, even yeah, so been no, a yellow card. Both are there. Yeah. One on top, one on yeah, okay. top. So so Odegaard, the Odegaard, Odegaard on the streets, right? That's reckless. It's terrible. I mean, like, it's... And, and Odegaard is lucky. He's lucky anyway, to, to so not be, yeah. So, yeah. Kovacic doesn't get sent off, obviously. Um, but then Martinelli, who wasn't supposed to play the game. In fact, Ateta said he was surprised he declared himself fit. It's not a kind of fighting spirit that you need from your players in moments like this. I think there's a bit more belief about the Arsenal team right now, don't you think? Yeah, um, and you get that belief, you get that confidence from experiences. Yeah. Uh, they've been through very tough experiences two seasons ago and last season. And that's why I said I feel they'll win the league. Because yeah. in terms of their maturity, I feel like they've grown, they've learned from them. And it's been a consistent theme. So they missed out on top four two seasons ago. They pushed it extra further when the title... Um, challenge, and I think that will take it a step further this season. But look, step further for meaning me, they would win the league. All right. Look, for me, that's as now win the league. That's, not that's a bold prediction. But I've said it before the start of the season. Okay. I still maintain cool. it. That's Arsenal fair. Win that's the league. fair. Um, I think this game was very interesting for me. Why? Because I think both managers were interested in stopping the others from playing instead of trying to take the initiative. That's yeah. what we're seeing. So it was sort of Ateta reacting to what Pep had done, and Pep reacting to what Ateta had done. Nobody really wanted to go out and try and carve the other open and create opportunities and so it was a very locked um tactical affair almost like a chess game but for me it was, it was how arsenal scored their goal that was just brilliant for me and it, it goes down to the the intelligence of Mikel arteta yeah. and the instruction the sort of movement and positions we saw zinchenko occupy when he was on the pitch was very different from when tommy asu came if you looked at the goal and you are the first question I was asking myself is what on earth is Tomiyasu doing in the box right. at that stage? Because there were two Arsenal players advanced the highest, and it was Havertz and Tomiyasu. Martinelli had was pinning the the, the, the touchline as at the time Partey had uh, lofted the ball in. And if you look at the, the run of Tomiyasu, you look at the, the body language of Rice, Partey, you could tell it was something that was rehearsed. Tomiyasu goes and lays it on to Havertz. Harvest takes his time, what waits for the run of Martinelli and lays it on. It was these sort of games are decided by moments. It's not about who created the tens of millions of chances. They are, they, are, they are decided by moments. And whoever takes advantage of those moments is who will run away with the title. We saw it, I think, a similar one in the game at the Emirates, this very fixture last season in yeah, January. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was just like this. The only thing was that Pep was able to look on his bench and have options to change his tactical variation. Ateta wasn't able to do. And another thing also for Pep Guardiola, 
we all saw how much they, they badly needed or they badly need Rodri to stay fit in yeah. this this season. Or For me, stay the, unsuspended. Look, <laughs> the best the best player in the, or the most important player in this Manchester City system is Rodri. And we saw it. In as much as yes, Bernardo Silva, if you look at the numbers, he was safe, he was decent. You spoke about width. The full backs were occupying the width. There was so much space on the wide side in um, <coughs> Kawaka and then Vadio. There were a few opportunities where Man City were able to exploit that on the left hand side with Vadio, but unfortunately his final ball was lacking. With Rodri, you have that player who can see and switch play when places are congested. So that was the inability of Bernardo Silva. The play is focused on one side. Vadio is acres of space free on the other side, but he decides to go the shorter pass to shorter pass to shorter pass, and that will allow the opposition to come and close the space. But that is what party did with the goal. Yeah, yeah. That is what Jorginho was doing in the first half, isolating uh, both Trossard and then most of the time it was Gabriel Jesus. And Arsenal fans would have been wishing that Saka was fit because yeah. he had those one-on-one -on -one yeah. opportunities. Yeah. That's Francis what the specialist in those positions will give you. And unfortunately for um, Pep, this time around, his number two is and, just not and, up to stand. And, and again, last season as well, yeah. I, I spoke about the importance of Rodri. I think another crucial player who we saw was Saliba for Arsenal. And he wanted, oh, what a Rolls Royce it, of a defender. If you, if you had what his interview was like, yeah, if he had stayed fit, Arsenal probably would have won the league. He knows. Very confident in his own ability. And when he wasn't there in those two games, we saw yeah. the difference. And we saw the difference again. His when injury he was, there. was the, 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 the key. It was almost a turning point for Arsenal. And we saw him in that game against Erling Haaland. And, and, and Pep Guardiola was intelligent. At times, it was Alvarez playing around him. He dealt with him. It was Erling Haaland. He dealt with him. And I think Saliba was immense Quick question. For, for Arsenal. Against Wolves, mm -hmm. against Leipzig, mm -hmm. against Arsenal, yeah. Erling Haaland is firing blanks. In fact, against Arsenal, he had an XG of 0 0.00. Yeah. What is going on there? If you don't have chances, you can't Yeah, if, if, if he doesn't get a chance, he's not going to score. He's not going to take on up two, three players. There's no Kevin De Bruyne. And, and the game has to be said. That's I, not his game. Two sides were trying so hard to stop each other rather than trying to carve several opinions. And, yeah. and you know, it just couldn't, couldn't happen for Erling.